right, so we have some potentially exciting news coming out of California's Great America. It's completely unexpected. Um, as many of you know, or anyone who's in my Discord, I have long said that California's Great America will not be getting a BNM Hyper. I just didn't see it. Um, BNM Hypers are usually put in like the very large parks as they're extremely expensive. Um, especially for what they do and uh, with what's out there, there are sometimes better options to go with, even though um, b and does make the most reliable coaster out there. Um, but um, I, even with that said, and me saying that uh, I never thought that a B&M Hyper would be coming to California's Great America, this news works in favor of the enthusiast community of California's Great America. This is great for those enthusiasts that enjoy the extremely high thrill um, coaster companies, because, um, you know, B&M is typically known to not push the limits, essentially. Maybe we're going to start seeing that come to an end, but um, it looks like we have some updates from a video that I'll link down below, um, so credit to them. Uh, some track for a California park and trains for a California park um, in those shots that you just saw, and to me, this has California's Great America's Hyper written all over it. So just to discuss this a, a little bit more, I'm going to talk about what's said in the video. They are speaking French. So we did, um, so Evan um, did some uh, translation on Google Translate, and this is what we got. Here my colleagues are welding all the pieces. The one is, this, this one is for the United States for California Amusement Park. It is $20 million project. That's expensive for a big eight. Look, for example, this ride to 17 million dollars, 17 million euro that will leave uh, leave for China after six months of construction, um, and it's a replica. Sorry, it's hard to read because it's Google Translate, so I'm trying to put the words to better better together than they are here. Um, and it's a replica of Blue Fire going to China. Blue Fire cost about 25.3 million um, US dollars to build. So it is a very big project. It's within the budget of a park like California's Great America. Um, and uh, I mean, this is awesome news. Can you imagine if you found out your home park was getting a mock hyper coaster? I mean, that's phenomenal. And if this ends up being true, congratulations to all of you California's Great America um, fans and enthusiasts because you are going to get an epic coaster. Um, I can only imagine what it's going to look like. Um, I have a feeling that this coaster is also going to push a lot of limits because if I were to guess what California's Great America has in plan, uh, it would be something to last a while. Something that will hold over for uh, a couple years or, you know, three, four, five years before their next big coaster. Um, so I'm thinking that they're going to be looking at something large scale, something with a lot of elements that maybe we haven't seen typically on a lot of those B&M hypers. Um, and I'm just super excited for you guys at California's Great America. This is awesome news. You got, your park is just getting invested in left, right, and center. I mean, you have Railblazer, which turned out to be a lot better than what people were expecting. That thing is hauling, and it's absolutely amazing. So congratulations there. You have what looks like a massive water park expansion coming your way. So congratulations on that. I mean, it's a California park. <laughs> what better attraction to add than a water park expansion? And then you have this hyper coaster coming in 2019, uh, 2020, sorry, the water park expansions coming in 2019. The mock coaster, if it ends up being that, is coming in 2020, which is awesome. I mean, what's next after that? It looks like you have tower rides coming after that, if I'm not mistaken, from the uh, permits and all that. So, um, congratulations. Um, I don't know too much else about California's Great America. I just know that there's a lot of land clearing going on. The project is probably going to stretch over, you know, a year and a half worth of construction if it's what it, it we're, we're predicting it being a mock coaster. So that's super exciting. Um, I plan on covering this project um, with construction updates thanks to Fluffy. Um, so I'll link his Instagram down below as well. Go follow him. He is a, a lot. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, um, subscribe if you haven't, and share the video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.